Good morning! We're on our last light. Out of the four oh, lights no. that I installed, oh, there's only one left. And I think it's time for us to buy new ones. Yep. Kitty hates it too. We moved Kitty's... Um, okay, so we're cleaning the kitchen up today. We're going to be able to use the entire kitchen today. But wait! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to me! Thank you! This year is going to be the most mundane of birthdays for me and you. 2020! I think everybody has had a very unique experience of having a birthday on during COVID and having graduation and weddings and everything else during COVID. So Well, we're, we'll literally just renovate the house. You will have a story to tell in 20 years, so don't worry. We moved the kitties. We're, we're cleaning up the living room and the kitchen today so we can live because we've not been able to like live here. And I need to put a bunch of groceries, not groceries, but like medicine away that I bought for the kids. I got them some probiotics and allergy medicine that we were running out of. So I have the counter there and I just did dishes. We have not used this counter for weeks because I am worried about it. Um, I was worried about it scratching. No longer worried about it scratching at all. Um, now I'm worried about the water that is going onto the sink. I have tried to research this. I there's no information out there that I can find. The water that gets around the sink, I'm very sloppy when I do dishes, it is turning the countertop like a milky. Uh, however, when it dries, it goes right back to good. But maybe one time I'll leave water on it and it won't go back to good. I don't know what is causing that or how to fix that for it not to happen because I don't want my countertop to turn white wherever water yeah. touches it. So uh, there's just no information on that. And that's why I wanted to get that varnish that is for Marine, but I didn't want to wait another month for it. And I still don't because it was $50 for a gallon of it. And uh, I've already bought varnish. So yeah. Uh, yesterday I went to thrift stores with my mother. We have so much fun together. Anyway, um, I got these two containers for coffee at a thrift store. It is a sheriff's ranch, and the money spent there goes to help disadvantaged youths that are on the wrong path that need a little uh, inspiration, motivation. So uh, we like to go there, uh, particularly there and the animal uh, Humane Society one to donate and to buy stuff when we go thrift shopping. So so what are we getting done today? Today we are taking the table out. It is full of stuff now. <sighs> My mom brought over some pickles, so we have more pickles. I've been eating them. I ate like three pickles this morning too yesterday. They get caught in my throat and it's like <coughs> like that, but I'm addicted to pickles too, just like Raphael and Abigail. So we're gonna take the table out today. We're gonna make waffles today. This for thing Pio. too? Can this go back? Yeah, and we're gonna put the shelf back today. Is this counter gonna be usable today? The counter is usable slightly. What does that mean? You can't put heavy things on it yet. One more day. And are you gonna coat what you did here? Are you gonna mm -hmm. coat this in the bathroom as well? Yes. There is a little bit of polyurethane that I need to put on the edge of that because I messed it up or somebody messed it up. Somebody put some pink something on there and I had to repaint it. So I do need to put another layer of polyurethane just on the edge. Uh, but right now it's usable. You can wash it. You can lay on it. Um, yeah, it's good. It's what good does to go. she want? I just what? don't, you're just not supposed to put heavy stuff on it for like three days. So. The kids get sort of an abomination. <laughs> it's got some cheese in it with some Rice Krispies and coconut in raisins and she gets pretty much the same thing looks like someone rode her bike hey wow abigail what happened to you did you fall nope i did some itchy what's all this you want to play too they're not playing with you all right so i'm gonna, I'm gonna just show you really quickly what i got uh just a bunch of uh stuff for a dollar everything was a dollar i got some vitamin d a lot of this is organic. I got some Culturel Kids probiotic and fiber. Um, these are packets to go in a drink, so they'll love this. And there's 24 in here for a dollar for the kids. And maybe if it's good and it doesn't have sugar in it, I don't know. Yeah, it's got sugar. So 
I won't be drinking this, but yeah, this is good for them. I like them to have stuff like this. This is a probiotic and vitamin D. I just have to be careful not to like double dip on the vitamin D. And there's another one that they have that's iron with the multivitamin. So I have to be careful like which multivitamins they're gonna get. Um, but I also have, we're gonna try out some 79 cents Jay Lee's Gourmet Barbecue Sauce. A taste that all families love. Put it on anything. And yes, I will. It's from Biloxi, Mississippi. Spicy. Spicy. Gluten free. We got some bullseye, 79 cents. I know everybody will love this. My mom doesn't like that other barbecue sauce that I got and I didn't know it. She buys it for everybody else. She doesn't like it herself though. So Pat's homemade barbecue sauce. You know that one's gonna be good. This was only 89 cents. Yes, please. And this, I got a bunch of these. These were a dollar a piece. These are Rainbow Light. We actually bought this before, do you remember? It was a fruit punch green yeah. drink. And it took forever to drink it, but I really loved it. I loved it and hated it at the same time because it was very powerfully healthy for you. So it was like a love-hate thing. Um, fun, chewable, fruit flavor, uh, food-based multivitamin. So this is like, I believe it's vegan. I'm not sure. Um, but it says gluten-free, milk and dairy-free. So this is uh, good little gummies for the kids. So I like buying them stuff like this and they like taking their vitamins in the morning. And you know, so far since we've not been around people, uh, my kids have not been sick. They still do have allergies though. And I can tell cause Raphael get real itchy and his, oh, yeah. his nose and his eyes look swollen. And uh, so do Abigail. She looks tired. That's how she looks when she has allergy issues. So. Me too, though. Yeah, but he doesn't respond well to allergy medicine, so I don't know. Uh, maybe he needs a different type. Maybe Zyrtec instead of Claritin. I'm not sure. But it's working really well for me and the kids, the allergy medicine. We take five milligrams, and uh, maybe you just need a higher dose because you're a man. I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't work on me. I, th I thought for sure it would like solve all his allergy issues, but it's not worked yet, so I might switch switch and see if it works for him. Oh, but I did get children's Allegra Allergy 12 hour. This is the suspension drops. They only had one of this. Uh, this is for $1. Can you believe that? It's like $25 in the store. So yeah, definitely buy stuff like that. So I'm going to organize my pantry now. Bye. So one of our friends is a police officer in Portland, Oregon. I know it's not fashionable to have a police officer as a friend right now. However, um, he is a good person and he's a good cop. They're protesting today and he has to work 20 hours today. So that's not awesome. They did have some very peaceful demonstrations um, where the cops were peaceful with them. And it was, it was actually really touching and moving. Um, I saw a video online about it, but not even the next day or the day after that it was like really it's kind of terrifying because they almost broke down barricades and they threw things at police officers and they gave them uh, concussions and just everything else you can't attack everyone in a group because the majority of the people are not who you want to be attacking do you know what i mean um it's 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 not a big majority of the people who are doing wrong in law enforcement, but the entire establishment, it's really hurting right now. Um, so anyway, speaking of Israeli, um, I bought some Israeli, I ripped the recipe off. I, di I didn't even read the recipe, but I just wanted to rip it off uh, to save it in my drawer here. Israeli couscous. Now this is called pitatim in Israel. Now in Israel, they have you can get generic and everything, you get all kinds of stuff, but this one is a three colored tri-pasta. And um, it's it's basically just balls, you know, couscous. It's not hard to make, just pour boiling water over it basically. I had it, the first time I had it was in the hospital when I was having a miscarriage. And it was probably one of the best foods that I had tasted in a long time. It was just flavored with oil, olive oil. By the way, July 4th is when I went into the hospital for that. And uh, that is when a 
a nurse said, oh, July 4th, happy birthday, happy 4th of July, happy birthday to the America or whatever. And I was just like, that is really bad timing <laughs> of you, thank you. So I will never forget July 4th. Um, we didn't want to do anything this year because we're having Abigail's birthday party at the end of the month. So we just wanted to have one get together because uh, trying to cut back and, um, uh, you know, it's an extra expense to buy food, a big amount of food for my family for two events in the same month. So um, we are we are having to budget because we're doing so many renovations, but I'm basically doing um, just paint. You know, I'm not doing, I got an estimate on this countertop, this one right here for basic marble, very thin, just for looks basically. And for durability, I want to be able to put a hot pot on it. That would be awesome. Like I did in Israel and didn't have to worry about anything at all, ever. Um, that was nice. So I got an estimate for this size exactly with no cuts on it, no special edge, very thin, the thinnest that they got, $1,350 for that. I paid about, with the paint and the paint brushes and everything, $50. But I'm also using the paint and the paint brushes again for several different projects. So I, I may have paid, I don't know, $15 for that project. Uh, if that, because I used only just very little paint. So um, it was very much worth it for me to do my counters. That one's more durable than this one. I don't know. This one's durable now, like it's scratch proof, but I'm just worried about the water. So we'll see later. So I don't know what happened here. Kids must have splashed some, like what happened here? And I'm just going to clean that up really quick because we're cleaning these rooms today. Doesn't that look good? The kids are outside playing right now because it's actually not raining yet. Alexa, is it raining? It might rain today. There's a 51% chance at 1 p.m. You can expect about 0.11 inches. Alexa, it's my birthday today. Happy birthday. If you'd like, ask me to sing happy birthday and we'll celebrate. Alexa, sing happy birthday. Okay, Just let's do my this. Alexa. One. Two, three. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy hey, is this copyright? Birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> I ain't done yet. Alexa, I'm not done yet. Hmm. I don't know that. I don't either. The music you requested is available with Amazon Music Unlimited. Oh, no. Which lets you play over Raphael said, Raphael asked Alexa to sing me happy birthday. So she went and sung me happy birthday from a, um, some UK person with a British accent and then a, uh, opera singer. And then they finished it off with the piano. Thank you, Raphael. And do not look, do not look. Oh, okay. You're enjoying being outside, aren't you? Finally, a day without rain. It's going to rain here in just a little bit, though. That's what Alexa said. I don't know how Alexa gets so detailed. Hi, guys. When she sits down, she'll lay down and she'll, like, scratch my foot. Oh, yeah? You want me to pet you again? I like giving massages to my pets. Neck massages. Yeah, that feels good. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. We've had you for a year. We have. You want to go play? Let's go. We can actually play. The ground is dry. Yeah. 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 We're going to go play. <laughs> oh, girl. Go get it. Go get it. Ooh. There is some kind of... Woo! What is that? A wasp? That's some ant. Ant flying bug. Very neat. Ant flying bug. Yeah. You coming out here to hang out with me? It's so hot. I feel like it's hard to breathe. Uh, it's humid. It's not that hot. Editing it yesterday, the video. Get out here. Yeah. She said, we hate this disease with all of our hearts. And I said, you should have said, with all of our lungs. With we all of our lungs. With all of what's left of our lungs. Yeah, we hate it. 
Roll, baby, roll. All night long. Rudy, you think you're gonna get some hamburger or hot dog? You gonna get hamburger or hot dog? She thought so yesterday. Do you want hot dog? <laughs> yeah, you got a hot dog? A okay, human, I'm waiting. I'm dog. waiting patiently. My nose is running out here. Hmm. Look at the nice, I just love this. Two of the things that we bought have sold out on Amazon and have not come in stock again. This was super cheap and the two Adirondack chairs that we got as a set were super cheap on Amazon. These have not come back in stock. Somebody keeps asking me, hey, what are the items that you got? And I'm like, it's not in stock, I'm sorry. But I'm, I'm gonna link it when it comes back in stock because this is such a super good deal. This is a forever bench and it's a glider. It is super well made, very inexpensive. Um, so I like to sit out here and when it's not raining and not nasty, hot, and gross weather, I, I'm, it's pretty comfortable out here right now, honestly. I think we're gonna straighten up the porch now, sweep a little bit and get everything in the place that it needs to go. I see raphael has got his soccer ball over here. He hasn't played soccer for a while because it's been rainy and muddy. But yeah, need to play some soccer. Looks like uh, this one had a little fun playing with that soccer ball too. It's still good, but yeah, she did take a bite out of it. Look at that. We're painting this eventually, so it should be all right. <laughs> You take an Instagram picture? <laughs> One of our friends is a dentist, so. Oh, oh everyday okay. Flossing. Everyday flossing. I don't really everyday <laughs> floss, but I just like cats, so I wore this shirt. He's gonna send it to his, uh, you know what? our dentist friend. Where what? Me and Abigail were pretending. Abby, you had to hit mobs, pretend mobs, uh -huh. in the face with her hands like this. So oh. And Abby wouldn't sword fighting, fighting, fighting. All right, but we don't, we don't sword people, right? Not people. No. Pretend mobs. Right. Okay. So, no one has given me any suggestions on how I'm supposed to cut this block, but I think I take a chisel and a hammer. I don't want to be that savage with it, though, because I'm not very good at cutting What's things. A chisel? a chisel is like like a sword, kind of, but it has a straight edge, like a... Straight edge? Like a, screw, like a big screwdriver, a flat screwdriver. Oh. And then you go like this and you hammer it. Hammer? Yep, and then it'll break whatever you're hammering. Um, can it break trees? Uh, actually, yeah. There break? is something that you use. It's called an axe. <laughs> yeah. And it's like a chisel. And on Minecraft, hmm. you use an axe to strip. All right, then you already it. know about life. Daddy one one of the things that we are doing together now is I am teaching him how to play it from a video game perspective because he already read the book and he knows all the tips and all the stuff. Yeah. But practically. Video gaming. Oh, he all has the to learn. beginner tips. Thank you for raising your hand and not interrupting. Yeah. It's I only very good. know the beginner tips instead of the Ender Dragon defeating yeah. tips. Okay. It's a monster. So we had yeah. some of our friends actually buy the game and buy a, a server or a realm. They yeah. bought it online. Yeah. And they wanted me to play with them, and I said, you know, I'll get Raphael in there. So he started playing with them on that realm. So he's getting to first experience multiplayer at seven years old. That's great. And now they want me to get an account as well so we can both play with them at the same time. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When I accidentally took all their stuff for enchanting the diamond swords and everything, I died with all that. A puffish poisoned me and uh... killed me. When you perish on that game, you lose everything that's in your inventory. So I just want to say he something. Took all of their stuff and that got lost. And I just want to say something it. real quick. Okay, these people are our friends. We've known them for a long time. They're like, "Come, we have a server. We don't want to get griefed by little kids anymore. You know, we log in, we get griefed. So we made our own server. Grief. So I'm like, cool." Uh, yeah, Raphael wants to join, so Raphael gets yeah. on there, takes all of their really expensive stuff, gonna go make some enchants or something with it. Yeah, enchanting what And then dies with all of their stuff. Because so, of a little puffish. Yeah. So, hello. Huh. So then we feel responsible for that and have to learn how to play Minecraft to replace all the stuff that was lost. Yeah, Daddy... So I that spent was... more time on that game than on work. <laughs> 
this week. That was like, so... it was renovating the house priority, then playing the game, and then work. Yeah, just to give him all the stuff yeah. back because he lost. But we now. got we got all the stuff back. Yeah, they played for a week. Yeah, they play all day, and they played for a week to get all that stuff, and he just took it all out of his chest and. It's all gone. Goodbye to Minecraft. Oh, yeah, Minecraft. Yeah, I just kind of zone out. All right, one more thing of Minecraft. You can actually enchant tridents. Thank you for letting me know. And I want to let you okay, know. Okay, rub, rub, the, rub the Rudy's belly. Rub the Rudy. She needs her belly rubs here. Rub, rub, rub. Okay. Go ahead. I just got a drink. First time I've been out, like, able to sit outside for a couple weeks because <laughs> of the rain. It's fixing the rain, though. It's a good thing. Abigail was just saying together together okay but now she's saying together do you want to say it yeah did she do actually it. do the art do for together to get to together to get to together quickly i didn't fail no together to get to together to get the very good, Abigail. <laughs> You're doing so good. Yeah, the R and the TH Wait, and the she L. Get the R? Yeah. Abigail, say Raphael. Raphael. Raphael with an R. Raphael. Good job. Uh, she said Raphael. No, she said Raphael. Oh, say Raphael. Raphael. I did great. Yeah, you did great. We're going to do a box a opening, package. guys. We got some packages and some letters. Can we open? Not right now, but we are doing it very, very soon. Well, I think the box opening is going to be tomorrow, and then this vlog will be the next day. All right, we have a guest. Is that came over to congratulate Mommy and stuff. And meantime, I am going to put the shelf back and start working on the house. I was waiting for Andrea to get up from the nap. She didn't sleep at night. Um, so, yeah. So that's back in place. Behind there was all cleaned. Look at all the stuff I found behind the oven. Trying a rigged lighting setup before you buy another one that's a proper, uh, just using a light on me. And Andrea is going to film a video. So the kitchen is starting to look better. I'm sure later on we're going to blitz it. And I think I'm going to do the rest of the white door. Zeb came over, which was a surprise. He's already wished me happy birthday, but he came over as a surprise. It was too hot for him to go. He was going to go on a walk. It was uh, too hot, so he decided to take a long drive over here to visit. So thank sure. you very much. It's good to see yeah. you. And the kids had a lot of fun with him, too. We're going to go out today and do some stuff. Nobody's out shopping, but there's a lot of people out. I'll tell a story about it. Uh, I'll make it its own video so because it's pretty long. I'm very sorry that you guys did not get to see Raphael and Abigail today.